Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Winkins. In this video, I want to go over this really cool vintage scan effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see right here, this is what the edit looks like or this is what the vintage effect looks like. This is just a small little edit that I put together. And these are the three different effects that comes with the free pack. Now you can actually buy the actual paid pack from Cinepacks. I just want to show you what, what actually comes with the free pack right here because not everyone has $30, $40 um, to spend on a uh, pack for Final Cut Pro 10. So these are the three things that come with the free pack right here. I definitely think these effects are pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of this effect right here. I'm honestly a pretty big fan of this effect. This looks pretty cool, but I think without doubt this one looks the best. But again, that's a personal preference. I think this one looks, I, I personally think this one looks the best. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, download the effects from Cinepax. The link is going to be in the description below. And then once you have the effects downloaded, all you're going to head over here is go to import right here. And then as you can see right here, Cinepax Vintage, uh, Vintage again. And then here are the different um, packs right here. Here are here the different effects right here. This, effect, this pack comes with three different um, scan effects. You want to just import the effects right here okay so let's head over here to this example it's the exact same clips but i just want to show you how to apply these effects so let's head over here scroll down and there we go let's find this um crt underscore text scan 3. so let's do this one first so let's apply the effect right here and of course you want to make sure it's completely over the video right here so as you can see right here we're going to play the video right here but as you can see, well, there's a problem. I can't actually see the um, subject. All you want to do is head over to blending mode and you want to type on screen right here. And as you can see right here, this is what the edit looks like now. So you want to make sure that the blending mode is on screen right here. And as you can see right there, this is what the effect looks like right here okay so let's head over to the next one so you want this effect right here let's go ahead and apply it right here i'll just use the blade tool to chop off that part and there we go and again the exact same thing we can't actually see the video want to head over to the blending mode right here you want to click on screen right there and there you go you have created the second clip. Now, as you can see it's a pretty easy effect to create right here and there you go you have created the effect right here now let's go to this one right here and as you can see right there go ahead and use the bleed tool right here chop it off right there and the exact same uh, situation you can't see the person click on the clip head over to blending mode and type on screen right there so as you can see right here, this is what the edit looks like right here. So go ahead and play the effect right here, and this is what it looks like right here. The exact same thing right there. Definitely a cool little effect right here. Um, so again, all you want to do is just apply the effect on top of the clip right there, and then just change the blending mode to screen right there, and you create this really cool vintage scan effect. So definitely go ahead and check the link in the description below. Another thing you can do is head over to all right here. You can type in tint right here, apply the tint effect right there, and then you could change um, color, let's say, to green right there. Um, we'll go ahead and play it right here. And as you can see, you kind of have a green glow right here. As you can see right here, this is what the effect looks like right here. So again, add a tint, and then of course you can change the color to whatever you want. And you can have a cool little like tint, so you have red, green, blue, whatever color you want right there. So the tint is definitely one effect helping me enhance um, the whole effect right there. But other, other than that, that's pretty much um, the entire effect. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 130 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.